Well, good morning, and what a glorious Monday morning it is. Just want to share with you something this morning I read yesterday, and uh, it hit me pretty hard, and just want to share with you, uh, you know, we love our fur babies, we love our dogs, what a blessing they are from the Lord God Almighty. So keep your, hand, your hanky handy and uh, sit back and listen to this. This is a letter written from a dog back to his mother. Hi, Mom. Now that I've been across the Rainbow Bridge for a couple of weeks, they said I should write a letter home. Sorry, Mom, but I've been so busy across the bridge that I haven't thought of home much. They said it's okay and that you would understand. I hope you do, and I think you will. Remember that night when I wasn't feeling very well and we were all crying? I don't remember much, but I do remember seeing and hearing all of you and feeling your touches and hugs. I remember hearing, we love you, and that one last command of go through. I didn't know what you meant, so I turned around and walked through the fog was in front of me. I saw the biggest bridge I'd ever seen and so many friends on the other side of it. They were all playing with toys and balls. You were right to tell me to go through. My feet kept moving forward, but my heart kept pulling me back. Your touches became lighter and lighter, and I wanted to come back and nudge your hands for more love, but I was overcome by a feeling of curiosity for the happy place over the bridge. My feet started moving on their own, like a gentle breeze was moving them forward for me. I can't explain it, but I had no doubt that it was the right thing to do. So I walked across that big, huge bridge myself. I look for you because you're always by my side, walking with me, but this was different. I didn't have a collar around my neck or a leash connecting me to you. I was free. Even though you weren't there with me, I never felt alone. I actually felt like I had a huge cape of love wrapped around my body and that the more I walked, the easier it was to breathe. So I kept walking. And I would feel more warmth in a, in a big hug, so I kept on walking. I eventually made it to the, uh, over the big bridge. I did it myself, Mom. When I got there, all of my new friends greeted me and helped me walk off the bridge. So it was cool. They gave me a pair of wings and said that I was now a guardian angel. That I've learned uh, over the, what I've learned over the past few weeks has been amazing and nothing like I've seen before. We're all the same here. We all have wings and we all have forever people we watch over. That's you, Mom. We had such a great life together, and I do miss you a lot. But please know that I am so happy in my new home across the bridge. I'll send you another angel, earth angel, so you won't be alone. Give him your whole heart like you gave it to me. I'll check in every so often to make sure that they treasure your love the way I did. When you miss me, think of the rainbow and know I am on the other side of it, waiting to walk with you again. I'll always be in your heart. I love you, Mom. Time for me to go play. We love them. They are a part of us. God bless our dogs.